Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting episode. Today I got another fantastic episode for you. I want to show off what I picked up from the game shop downstairs from my friend Anthony in San Jose. He's got a cool game shop and I'll show you the video here in a second. As you can see it's a really awesome game shop full of interesting stuff as I walk around here. As you can see, he's got tons of stuff everywhere you look. Everything you can think of from Atari 2600 all the way up to the new stuff. And gotta say, really interesting stuff. Even some really unique stuff. Stuff that you can't get in America. A lot of imports and stuff. Or stuff that's really rare that you just don't see around in game shops. So he's always looking for interesting stuff. And I get a lot of Famicom games here and other things that I find interesting here and there. And we got a full-sized uh, Power Ranger there, Red Power Ranger. So as you can see, a lot of more expensive stuff in the glass cases. Really cool stuff in there. Some imports there, as you can see, for the Sega Saturn. There's some Famicom games sealed in box. And a few that are open, but still has the boxes, which is cool. Super Famicom games. So, as you can see, tons of really cool items in this case. And I have a lot of those Famicom games, so I did pick up a few. I'll have to show those off in another video. As you can see down there, some Shen Chan games for the uh, Game Boy. And look at that, the Overwatch Collector's Edition there for the Xbox One. So, pretty cool stuff. Mafia 3 up there. A lot of little cool knickknacks here and there. Cases are full of goodies. And I do see something already that it caught my eye as I was walking the floor looking at stuff. I try not to look too well because then I'll spend all my money. <laughs> so I just glance around and if something really catches my eye then I'll pick it up. But Anthony has a fantastic store full of cool stock cool things and look at that even VHS tapes which you don't see so lots of VHS tapes because I know people are starting collecting those again some interesting controllers lots of DS games there but as you can see boxes full of VHS tapes I don't collect any VHS tapes I collect DVDs still and uh, of course Blu-rays and stuff and he gets of course some interesting switch games in there and this is what I picked up. I've been looking at it for a while. Finally got one. It came out in 2019. And it looked cool. And I finally got one. And that is the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Now this was, like I said, released in 2019. They originally, in I think 2017, released the little mini arcade cabinets. This has 20 preloaded games in it. And you can add games to it. Uh, you can add quite a bit of games to it, and I'm going to do that later on and show you that also when it's finished. But right now, it does have 20 classic Neo Geo Arcade games on it. So, without further ado, sit back and let's check it out. So this is stock, what you would get. King of Fighters 95, 1997, 98... 99, King of Fighters 2000, uh, King of Fighters 2002, they're all fighting games. Fatal Fury Special, Fatal Fury 3, Guru, Mark of the Wolves, if I pronounce that right, Samurai Showdown 2, Samurai Showdown 3, 4, 5 Special, Art of Fighting, World Heroes 2, World Heroes Jet, World Heroes Perfect, Ninja Masters, Last Blade 2, and Kizuna Encounter, which is Super Tag Battle. So they're all fighting games. So you get 20 classics, and then you get the settings here. You can change your languages, you can change your screen sizes, full screen, I would never do that, the 4.5, and I'm not sure exactly what these do exactly, but I just left it as is quality of the screen so you can turn on smooth scaling pixel scaling you can turn on scan lines and a 45 line so you can make it scan lines more like the arcade system which is just 
somehow to unlock some extra games. System upgrade if you need to do that. Return in the course and the factory reset. Now into the Hilo stick. Neo Geo MVS multi video system. So now we get 181 games for the Neo Geo and some little bit of sound effects and a little more graphics. So I'm gonna go through these fast. I'll just flip through them. I won't even call them out because it'll take forever in this video. Now if you go down here, you still get all the same settings, except for you can now switch game systems. So that was Neo Geo we saw. Here's Neo Geo CD, and I'm going to flip through these fast. Let's go to Neo Geo's uh, Pocket Color, the, the handheld system. Put more on there if I wanted, so maybe add some lists to this. Uh, we'll see. Capcom Play System. So all the Capcom arcade games. Aliens vs Predator, classic Armored Warriors, Battle Circuit. Darkstalkers. Can't go wrong with Darkstalkers. Dungeon Dragons games are always cool. Punisher. Arcade Classics. Gauntlet. Kari Warriors. So, all your classics there. Popeye. Some games and brawlers.
Moon, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker classic. Night Slasher is another classic. Ninja Warrior, Ninja Gaiden, I should say. And what do we see? Arcade Club saw Brawlers. Shoot 'em ups. Because I know there's some shoot 'em up fans out there. I like shoot 'em ups, I don't love them. So I'm not good at them, but I like them. And let's see what else we got here. Shoot 'em ups, Genesis Mega Drive. So some Genesis games. And the cool box art. Battle Toads. Contra. Days before Christmas, I should do this uh, review on this. I have this game. And Super Nintendo. Got that punch out. Super punch out, I should say. Turtles, wild guns. Saw Super Nintendo. Oh, Bagman, that's always classic. Really old school game. And let's see here. Take a second to load. So you can see more classics, Dotcom 3. A lot of good games there, and we'll just click the next one. Well, let's just go down. Turbo Graphics 16. We see their arcades are all alphabetical. We've seen those. A little gist of what we got in arcades. We would have had a different animation instead of Chung Lee, but that works. Oh, it had bonk. It's still cool. So, plenty of choices of Turbo Graphics 16 to play. 32X.
really the ones to play is Doom, Star Wars, and what else is worth playing? Shadow Squadron's not bad. Star Trek Academy's not bad. Virtual Fighter's pretty good. WWF Arcade game, decent. Atari Lynx. Got this set up. Let's see here. Come on, Atari Lynx, load up. Can't wait till the uh, adapter comes out for the uh, analog pocket. It's supposed to got delayed, so it's coming in February sometime. So I can play those on my analog pocket. Game Boy Advance, the GBA. And PlayStation. And because it doesn't run PlayStation great, so just put in the ones that runs great. These are some old PC LucasArts games. What else would I missing? Commodore Amiga, so the Amiga games. So a few of the Amiga classics. Alien Breed, which is classic. Alien Breed 2, Another World Flashback. Hugo. Hugo. Frog, Turrican 1, 2, and 3, and Zool, which is a terrible game, but, well, interesting, not terrible, but different. It's very colorful, put it that way. So let's just go check out a few, and then we'll call it quits. I'm not sure how this is going to run. This is a little bit more advanced than usually run. It runs pretty good. I think I hear a little tiny music splutter on this one. Ow. The control stick feels nice, gotta admit that. Control buttons, everything feels really good. Let's do this crouching tiger, the, uh, the ROM hack one. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon.
Chimp's pretty good. I'll put. Oh, okay, well they picked it. Took too long. Oh, I'm taking him first. Mary and Rio. Okay, Rio, I want it anyways. First state, Mexico. Round one. It's actually a little challenging game, too. Captain Kid. I'll fight myself. I'll duplicate. Great comic series, which was originally started from old school. We find the controls here. Where's my kick button? Is there a kick on this one? Maybe there wasn't on this guy. So that is it for the Neo Geo Pro Arcade Stick with the Hilo Stick mod to it. So it gives you more systems, more games to add to it. And as you can see, it turns out pretty awesome. So anyways, that is it for this episode. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. Take care everybody. Until next time, have a good one.